Oh, okay. This thing's popped up in front of me. I don't know what I've done. Um. Oh, get off, get off. There it's gone. Right. Uh, I've been asked by a number of students to look at the the um, experimental based questions on the DOCI Unit 4 paper, which I think is tomorrow. Okay, so what I thought I'd do is, um, well, have a look at them. You'll have to bear with me. That's my little daughter in the background. Um, so we're going to go into blue. Sure, let's have a nose. One way of calculating the rate of respiration. Uh, so we're looking at rate of respiration. And as I as I, as I always do, I, I highlight the key keywords, the key ideas. I try not to get more than three to measure the volume of oxygen taken up over a period of time. A student carried out an experiment to investigate the effect of temperature. So it's the effect of temperature on the rate of respiration in soaked germinating pea seeds and dry dormant pea seeds. So we've got two different types of pea seeds here. One that's germinating, therefore it's active. It's going to have a high respiration rate, dormant pea seeds, which are going to have a very, very low respiration rate. A simple piece of apparatus called a respirometer was used. Um, and there we have the respirometer. So I've, I've got these ideas that I've, and my variable thing that I'm changing is temperature. Um, I'm trying to measure oxygen uptake. Um, what was I going to say here? Here, ooh, KOH, potassium hydroxide solution. And I kind of realised two things. If you're not a chemist, and some are not chemists, so we're studying biology, you will always have something in here, doesn't matter what it is, doesn't matter whether you're used to the terminology or you've never heard the chemical before, this will always absorb CO2. So I'm taking my time over this and even still that's barely taken a minute. Alright, so uh, there we go, let's get rid of all that and let's scroll down. The potassium hydroxide solution this apparatus absorbs carbon dioxide. Let's go down a bit further. Uh, so the, 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 the apparatus, the potassium hydroxide, absorbs CO2. If the apparatus is kept at a constant temperature, any change in the volume of air in the respirometer will be due to oxygen uptake. Right. So here's the funny thing. You're not measuring, you know, the amount of oxygen taken up. What you're measuring is the amount of CO2 produced. Okay. State the stage. All stages, and this is not eh? Where aerobic respiration, um, during, uh, of aerobic respiration during which carbon dioxide is produced. So all stages. Well, the easy one. The easy one is to say the Krebs cycle. That is, uh, my handwriting getting disgusting. Krebs cycle. And you'll get zero marks for this. You must say and the link cycle. Right? We must talk about it. Remember, there is a CO2 molecule uh, produced in the link cycle. Okay. So if you if you uh, want to have a think about that, look it up, freeze it there. I'm just about to clear the screen again so I can scroll down. Okay. So at this point now, we're asking whereabouts um, is oxygen used? And oxygen is oxid. I love this how to remember oxygen is used the oxidative phosphorylation there's, there's there's other things you can say as well um all the descriptive words you can use to describe oxidative phosph phosphorylation but to me it's that little link there the moment they said where is oxygen used i think oxygen oxidative phosphorylation so to me i like a link i like a link between the trigger they give me there with oxygen um, and the antioxidant phosphorylation. All right, let's go a bit further down. So down at B, the students set up three experiments A, B, and C in water baths at two different temperatures. The respirometers were left for ten minutes in order to equilibrate. 
the contents of each recipe rometer are shown. And then you start seeing weird things going on. And you think, well, I get this. It's at 15 degrees. I've got three recipe rometers. And what do boo boo haba haba are these glass beads doing? Well, we'll come to that. But it's a nice thing because you don't really know. You're thinking, well, why have I got glass beads there? Um, and why have I got glass beads here and nothing here? Well, to be honest, the only difference here and here is dry peas and well, glass beads here. So then you kind of realise that in every experiment, you have a control. Right? It's the control is the experiment that's got nothing in it that you expect to react. And you don't expect glass beads to have respiration. So, coming back down to the question around about here. At each temperature, respirometer C, which contained only glass beads, was a control. And it tells you as well, respirometer B, at each temperature, also contained some glass beads. So just why at each temperature, respirometer B contain some glass beads. Well, um, let's, let's scroll down a bit more because what's really interesting in this question is it's two marks. So what is it? What? Why would B contain glass beads? Well, A's got salt beads and salt beads are big and fat while dry beads are little and wrinkly. So you'll have a different volume. If you've got 30 salt seeds and 30 dry seeds, well, the dry seeds will take a lot less space. And where they're taking up a lot less space, the problem you've got is you've got more air in your tube. So a different ways of answering this. For one mark, you'd say to keep volume same. I do that because, um, I mean, that's it. Uh, I, I couldn't think of any other easy way than putting that to keep the volume the same. Okay, and that's one mark. And the second mark is why? Why do you want to keep the volume the same? It's because if you didn't, B would have more, and I'm going to give the simplest answer I can, air in it. And the truth is, we're not really phased that much by the air. I'm phased by the oxygen. Uh, but you'll get marked for each. Okay. So, let's clear that. Let's go down. Whoopsie daisy. So here we're at C. And it says, after the student had left each respirometer to equivalent, equivalent that E word there. <laughs> I don't know. Got tongue tied. <laughs> um, so yeah. So <laughs> respirometer to equilibrate. Small volume of coloured fluid was introduced into each graduated tube. The respirometers were then left in the apparatus water bath for 20 minutes and maintained at the correct temperature. During this time, the coloured fluid in the graduated tube moved. The level of the colored fluid in each respirometer was recorded at the start of the experiment and after 20 minutes. Okay, okay, the results are summarized in table 4.2. That is two ways of doing this, of answering this question. And you look at it, and I'm gonna be really honest, um, I really don't read as much as I should do when I read a question, and it's where I make most of my mistakes. And I kind of notice something being me. As I'm looking at this, I see, what's that, 16 and 8, ooh, 4 and 2, yes they're not 4 and 2, and yes they're not 16 and 8, but if I look at it that way, that's half of that, that's half of that, that's that, oh no that's not half of that, hold on, if that was half of that, that would be 0 0.00, .00 Two five, but the, ah, they've rounded it up. Oh, okay. So what I do is I look at this. It's actually it's really bad. <laughs> I've not even read the question yet. I've just seen that. I've not even done the question. All right. So it says table four point two is incomplete. Calculating the missing.
calculate the missing value for the rate of auction uptake for soap peas A at 25 degrees. So they've asked you for that missing one. Hmm, so let me have a look. What I would do is do 0 0.27 or 27 divided by 2, which would give me, and if I look at it, 0.135. But that's not my answer, is it? No. The reason that's not my answer, because if I've got the 16, if I have that, I've got 8, I'd be at this point here. I need another 0 there. So my answer would be 0 0.0135. See, then I look, why did you round this up? We're at three decimal places, so this must be at three decimal places as well. So, what we've got 0 0.014. Okay, so that's me being, um, that's me being, you know, it's typical strange in my head kind of uh, person. Now, I'm just going to clear that. The other thing you can look at, rate of oxygen uptake, and you've got centimetre cube, per centimetre cube per minute. Oh well. So you've got per centimetre cubed per minute, which is in 20 minutes. Well, we've got corrected difference in centimetre cubed. Oh, but you got it in 20 minutes. Only in 20 minutes. I want it in, min in minutes. So, if I've got 0 0.27 in 20 minutes, well, 0 0.27 divided by 20. Oh, guess what? 0 0.0135. I need to round it up. 0 0.014. Either way. Um, I know mine's a little bit long, but that's just the way my brain works. Okie dokie. Uh get rid of that let's walk down you should walk down right let's have a look at this explain why there is an increased rate of respiration soak seeds at 25 degrees compared with seed soaked at 15 degrees well okay I hope I'm uh oh, actually, I'm going to stop right there. So I've just got an important text message. So I'm just going to put a little break on this. If it wants to work, there we go.